you know, you've written a book about live golf. There's the famous photo of Greg Norman looking like he's about to stick a four iron where the sun don't shine uh, from behind you there. <laughs> Uh, when you have, you know, a U.S. Open that plays out the way it did with Rory and it's Bryson, and you have, you know, the reintegration of a lot of those live players into those major events, what is your level of surprise, if any, that there seem we seem to have gone from, as you put it, Rory fighting for the soul of golf to what I, I think is a general level of an acceptance and a malaise that this is just now how it is and all the talk about blood money and everything else is just kind of a back burner to what it's always been, which is the golf. I'm still distracted by the image of Greg Iyer, Greg Norman in the four iron. I, how about a hybrid? It's got some smoother edges or something. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the insidious thing about sports washing is that it works, you know, the in 2022 when live launched every week every press conference there was so many questions you know this the saudi issue hung over everything 9 11 jamal khashoggi you name it it was an inescapable talking point and now it never gets brought up it just a fatigue sets in among the fans among the reporters among the players and um and that's why sports watching is effective so yeah the, the the larger geopolitical issues have largely receded from from view um what it means for the sport and how it's going to get put back together it remains a humongous question i mean they are very close to consummating a deal where the public investment fund of saudi arabia which funds live golf is going to inject a billion or two dollars into pj tour enterprises and at that point we can lower the draw bridges and try and the, the tours are never going to merge. That's been that's been bad language ever since June 6th of last year when when it kind of first broke. They were trying to get this done. There's always going to be as long as Yashir Al Rumayan is, is in power. He's the he's the patriarch of Live Golf. As long as he controls the purse strings, there's going to be a, a full schedule on Live Golf because it's his baby and he cares about it and he's going to keep funding it. Um, and so they're going to remain these parallel. There's going to be the, the Live Golf. There's going to be the PGA Tour. The question is, if they can consummate this deal and if they can put down the guns metaphorically um, and, and create some some on ramp so so live guys can play on the tour and tour guys can play on live, then we can start to put the game back together. Um, but first, the deal has to get done. And there's a tremendous amount of money involved. There's a lot of ego. There's le the legacies of some very powerful people are at stake here. And so they just can't get the deal consummated. There's an army of lawyers. There's probably three dozen lawyers who are part of this conversation on a regular basis. It's just an absolute mess. And so I still believe a deal will get done sometime this calendar year because the game is paralyzed. If you're out there in the marketplace as the tour or as live golf, you don't know what you're selling because you don't know which players you're going to have. I mean, Bryson has become the biggest star in golf and the tour doesn't know if they're going to have access to him. The sponsors don't. It's it's an untenable situation. So I believe in my heart a deal will get done, but the devil's in the details and what that's going to look like, how the players can flow back and forth, what kind of punitive damages the, the, the tour is going to seek from the guys who left. Like all those things are mucking up this getting it done. But um, I think we will have a more unified sport by the end of this year. But um, again, this story has been so volatile and there's there's so many there's so many people who are part of the conversation, all with differing agendas. Um, it's not a sure thing. I'll say that. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.